I made the swings out of these two pieces of wood I found in my shop. Scrap pieces, about 23 inches long each. I think it's a two by six, maybe. Uh, the first thing to do was to drill some holes in the corners. I used a spade bit for this. Went about an inch from the corners. So a tip when using spade bits, if you drill down just far enough to where the tip comes through the other side, you can flip the board over and then finish from the other side using that hole and you'll have a clean, no blowout drill hole in the board. You see that? Man, that's so nice. So then I laid out the wood just about where I want them to be hanging from the deck. And then I took some measurements just to see how far from the deck and from the house those two seats were. And then I used those measurements uh, to know where to drill in the deck. So for the first hole, I just measured from the house over how far I needed to go and pre-drilled. And then I took measurements about how far apart the holes were. And then that's how I got the measurement for the second hole. Went ahead and drilled all of them out and then I was ready to put some screw eyes in there. I guess they're called screw eyes. Get you a long screwdriver too. You'll see why in a minute. So you can get it started by hand, but you'll quickly find out that you can no longer turn it by hand. That's where the screwdriver comes into place. It'll help you get it all the way as far as you need to go. It takes a little time, but just keep going and uh, you'll eventually get there. So I got those done and then I was ready to put the swings up. So I got some 19 feet pieces of rope here, it's three quarter inch rope. I probably should have got some longer rope, you'll see in a second. So string the rope through the screw eyes about the same length, make sure the bottoms are even. And then you want to tie a knot into the top near the screw eye. It's a little difficult or it could be difficult, but try to work the knot up as high as you can right below that screw eye. And this is just to keep the rope in place there at the middle where it's hanging from. So there you see, I got them all done. And now I just got to actually put the rope through and tie some knots underneath the seats. So you can see me putting the rope in. Wait, what's going on? I can't get it through. So I had to get a bigger spade bit. So much for those clean non blowout holes, right? Then I was ready to tie the knots underneath. And this is where I wish I would have had some longer rope. It was real difficult to get this knot done with this thick rope like this. But eventually, after some perseverance, I was able to achieve my hopes and dreams and get all the knots tied. So you can see the kids coming over trying to help. With their encouragement, I was able to finish and after I got this one done, of course I did the yellow one. But after I got them done, it was time to test it out. So of course I wanted to make sure it was good and tight. And then we could let the kids try it out and check out how cute that is. Okay, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching, pretty easy project. I do have to give credit to HomeTalk.com. That's where I found an article on making these. That's where I got the idea to do it. Um, I did use some different size wood than what they said because I just had this on hand and that's what I used. Um, I probably should have got some longer rope. I think my deck's a little higher than the one they did on their website. So other than that, really easy project. And it's going to be nice for our under deck patio here. If you'd like to see how I made this paper patio, there'll be a link at the end of the video or in the description box. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.